and Miss Patrice is also going to bring us our, our story time. Jim came this weekend and he lives in North Carolina in the mountains and he has a business there where he lives and he has big trucks lots of them and he has um, <clears throat> buildings that has like man stuff in the buildings I don't know what it all is but there's machines and there's all kinds of stuff because they have to keep the trucks working. Just a minute, I forgot something. <clears throat> and um, so one day he said to his helper, he said, Robert, I need you to, I have a strip of metal and it's about this long. And he said, I need you to cut this in half for me. And so Robert said, okay. And so he cut that strip of metal in half. And so the strip of metal is like this big. But the edge that he cut was all jagged and sharp with jagged edges on it. So Robert says, well, I have to sand this out now to make it smooth. <clears throat> so he took it inside one of the buildings and he put it on a, a, a grinder, right, a grinder. Do you know what a grinder is? Well, I don't, I don't really either, but I, he showed me a picture of it. But it's round, and it's really, um, it's almost like when you have a file and you file your fingernails or something, it's like kind of like that, but it's round, and you put the piece of metal on it, and it makes a lot of noise, and there's sparks flying and stuff like that and um, <clears throat> so it didn't take him very long to do it but he did it he made it nice and smooth and then he went out and he found Jim and he gave it to Jim and said here's your piece of metal and so Jim went off and did whatever he was going to do with the metal and, and Robert went off and did whatever he was going to do and nobody thought anything more about anything until about four hours later, somebody pointed to that building and they said, smoke, smoke is coming from that building. And sure enough, the building was on fire. And 
There was flames. There were fire trucks, lots and lots of fire trucks because it was a big building and it had a lot of stuff in it. And so they were very sad that this happened. Well, then there's always a, a person, a fire marshal, who has to investigate and find out, well, what caused the fire? And so they looked and looked and looked. And you know what they decided it was? It was one of the sparks that flew off of that grinder and it landed on a bench next to the grinder and it sat there and because it was a little tiny spark and the bench over there was wood the bench it just smoldered and smoldered and then after before too long then it caught on fire and since nobody was in the building they didn't notice it and the fire spread, and it spread, and it spread, and it spread, until finally they could see outside the smoke coming out. And it was so scary. So, <clears throat> that was sad. But they have a new building now, so that's all okay. And he was telling somebody about what happened with his building. And he was saying, you know, that was just a spark that caused that whole flame and fire and smoke and the whole building to burn down. Just one little spark. Now, we can, we're going to turn that around and we're going to talk about a different kind of spark. And this different kind of spark is like when, when we, because we're here on this earth, and some of us know Jesus and some of us don't know Jesus. But when we get to know Jesus, and he comes into our hearts, and he brings us such joy and peace and hope, and we're so happy. We're filled with joy because we have Jesus in our hearts. We're so thankful. We get all excited and then we tell, maybe we tell our grandma who doesn't know Jesus. Or maybe we tell our daddy who doesn't know Jesus. Or maybe we tell our little friend next door who doesn't know Jesus. And we say, come to Sabbath school with me because my friend Jesus is there and you can meet Jesus. You know what that is? That's a little spark. And so you can put that little spark inside their head and in their heart. And if they come and they learn about Jesus, then they get all excited and they get so happy and they're going to tell somebody else too. And that little spark is going to spread. And it's going to keep spreading and spreading and spreading. Right? Yeah. Okay, so now, here's, here's this song. Bob sang this song a couple weeks ago, but we're going to sing it today. It's called, It Only Takes a Spark to Get a Fire Going. Okay, and we have to pay really close attention to the words. Okay? Do you know this song, Michaela? Who knows this song? Okay, good. So we can sing it really loud. So Michaela is here. <laughs> it only takes a spark to get a fire.
from our little spark. And that and Jesus loves every single one of us and he has so much to offer each one of us. And so Michaela and Brianna, when you go and pray, and when you guys go home, you remember that the words that you say and the things that you do can be a little spark of love and joy for somebody else, okay? All right, now let's just say a little prayer, okay? Do you want to pray? Thank you for this wonderful.